a little later than I started. I'm on the Wild Azalea Trail, Yellow Diamonds. I'm at the Valentine Lake Trailhead, and I'm gonna do six point six point six miles in, and then turn around and six point six miles out. Do a little trail running here, so I got to get up here to the. I'm at the trailhead. Uh, got to cross a little forest service road right quick. I'm going to hike it per se, but I'm also going to do some running once I get on the trail and get my legs loosened up. I want to do a, a, just a little trial run to see what kind of condition I'm in for a 13 mile or a half marathon in about a month. I've been training, been running, um, but not too much on trail per se. So definitely want to get some trail miles in. This, I'm using my day use pack, my day, day hiking pack. I got about just shy of three liters of water for the 13 miles today. I got my snacks. This also gives me a chance to use my GoPro. So I'm expecting this to take me under four hours, uh, between three and a half and four is what I'm thinking. It's got on trail, it is 7.09. So I got on trail right about seven o'clock. Wild Azalea Trail, December 3rd, I think. Yeah, December 3rd, 70 degrees. All right. Look, that fog, how it just, that mist sets through there. Sunrise coming up over there above the trees. The trail looks good. So yeah, January <clears throat> 6th is what's called the Wild Azalea Trail Challenge. Uh, it's a 23.2 mile trail point to point. I'm at one end of it, the Valentine Lake end. Starting at this trailhead on December, January 6th, I'm sorry, uh, is gonna be the Wild Azalea Trail Challenge. Basically people doing 5Ks, 10Ks, half marathons, marathons, ultra marathons, mountain biking. Uh, it's a big deal. I'm just, Excited that it's my first time to ever do something like this. Let's see. Been about a half mile. I'll probably do this first mile just hiking, making sure I'm good and warmed up. White diamonds and yellow diamonds. I wonder what the white diamonds are. I'm following yellow diamonds, but I just saw a white diamond. Must be another trail that runs concurrent with the wild azalea. Look how clean this trail is. Yeah nice and clean sunrise coming up over there look at that really need to test out my gopro get some footage start working with the editing it's really a lot what i'm doing this for also i haven't used it much so this is another part of that plan. Eight tenths of a mile, 13 minutes. All right, just started walk, running, jogging, one mile in. One of the reasons I wanted to do this was just to be able to test my pace, but also the fall colors. We're a little bit behind, but boy, some pretty yellows, golds, 
I'm really looking forward to seeing some different colors. My first pace was hiking 1642. So I'll, I'll run this first mile at a good even steady pace and see how this goes. It is hunting season. I forgot to wear orange. Sheesh. I'm in my gray outfit. Gray shorts. Gray shirt. Blue and black day pack. Yeah. Pretty orange right there. Uphill. You see how that works? I'm okay. Here's my foot. Caught a root. First trip of the day. Didn't hit anything. Soft landing, but still, I don't want to do that. 14 minute pace right now. <clears throat> I have these mile marker signs every half mile a nice and wide trail nice little creek crossing here nice bridges Hill climb. Okay. Ugh, pretty steep. With no hiking poles. I'm used to having hiking poles. Okay. Coming up out of that bottom where that creek was. and reds through here. Look at that. Wow. All right. Here's the two mile mark. took the two and a half mile mark a little walk break heart rate's about 150 153 I think my last pace was 1242 
All right. Pick up the pace again. Fall on this, fall on this creek bottom again. Another bridge crossing. Got to be careful going through here. These leaves are slick. Wood is slick. Yeah, tripping. Slipping hazards. Nice hardwood bottom through here. Trail is well marked, well maintained. The turnaround spot for me today is called Evangeline Camp. It's a primitive camp. I think there's vault toilets. There's no water, but I've camped there before. It's right on a road, forest service road. That'll be the turnaround spot. I think that's just over six miles total. Which means when I get back to my car, if I'm not at the 13.2, I'll have to do a little bit around my car. Here's a mile marker. This should say mile marker three. Halfway to Evangeline Camp. All right, that mile was 1310. 7.50, three miles, 42 minutes, 50 seconds. That was a 13 minute mile. Heart rate's 163. So, 156 now. I'm gonna walk for maybe a half a mile. Been going for 43 minutes. So yeah. First mile was a walk. So, Three miles less than 15 minute pace. Uh, considering one of them was a, the first mile was a walk. All right, we're approaching mile four. I walked all of mile three. Well, yeah, three or four. So I'm fixing to start running again, but it's been, that was a 16 minute mile. Total time. 56.49 for four miles. So, not too bad. Let me get back on the pace here. Um, actually, 58.49, I've been 59 minutes. So under an hour for a four mile pace. <clears throat> Got a little, a little walk bridge here through a low spot. We'll kind of get past this and then I'll start running again. I don't want to slip on under this wet area. Waddle's Day Trail does a good job of, for the most part, keeping you up out of the, these sloughs and these bottoms. Ooh, you see that, how slick that was? It's that green algae on that trail, on those wood, that, those boards. All right, uh, I see bicycle paths. All righty. Start jogging again. Another little bridge. Flowing water, definitely plenty of water out here. The one thing about the wild azalea that I remember, there was always plenty of water on the trail. 
All right, a little hill climb here. I ate a snack bar earlier while I was walking, keep my energy level up, drink some water. All right, I'll be back after a while. It's just now eight o'clock, maybe a little bit after eight. I had parking, let's see what we got here. I remember cashing some water somewhere right around this area before. All right, let's see, there's the trail over there. Not too far from here is the Evangeline camp. Went from hardwoods back there to pines here. Four point seven miles. Yeah, I cached some water I'm right back here somewhere. Somewhere right in this area before. Forest is clean. Clean bottom. Look at that. They come in here and they do these burns. It cleans the bottom of the forest. New growth comes up. There's my five mile sign, but my watch is off just a little bit. A little bit farther from my watch for the five miles. But it's been an hour and 10 minutes. Hit the trail mark, five mile mark. Hour and 10 minutes. On my watch, I've got 4.85. Got to share the trail. Hello. Gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. How you doing? doing well, thank you. Good morning. Have a good one. You too. All right. All right. That's a 13.30 pace. Including a little bit of walking overall, a minute, hour, and 12 minutes for five miles. Six mile point will be my turnaround, 6.7 actually. So we'll see where that puts me at with regard to the Evangeline camp. All right, feel good. Five miles in. Legs are a little tight, nothing major. Cardio feels good. We'll just see how far I can go on this pace. If I can get close to the six mile mark running before I walk again. All right, I'll be back after a while. 14 minute pace. Evangeline camp shouldn't be too much farther. Let's see Here's the road.
Here are the bicycles coming up behind me. They must have went to Valentine Lake Trailhead and turned around. Gotta be getting close. Been 6.25 miles. Six and a half mile marker sign right here. If I get the six five or on my watch before Evangeline camp, I'll just turn around. Alright, here's the bicyclist. It's all good? Right, Say it again. Making a short run today. Yeah. <laughs> sorry about that. Yes, sorry, y'all too. One more. Yes, sir. Thank you. Getting close to Evangeline. All right, I have done, um, let's see, I have done 7.2 miles. I've turned around, I'm headed back. All right, just past two more guys hiking. I'm fixing to start running again. These batteries, man, they don't give me much footage. Six and a half miles, hour and a half, hour and 33. I'm gonna catch my wind. Actually, let me see how much farther it is to Evangeline. Let's see. No, that's not what I want. That's what I want. Where's my location? Oh, it's right there. So yeah, that's probably gonna be the turnaround spot for the for the wild azalea. But I'm gonna go ahead and bring it off of airplane mode. Get a signal. Call Barbara. Thirteen point two miles took me three hours and thirty two minutes. As you can see, I took a fall on the trail. My legs gave out at mile marker seven. I had to walk the rest of the way back. I couldn't run anymore. My legs are in muscle fatigue right now. I got a Gatorade. I'm fixing a drink. But man. That week where I was sick, man, you don't realize how much fatigue that causes you. Wow. Well, I'm gonna change clothes right quick. Try to get on the road in about 10 minutes. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm exhausted.